So today um, I've decided to uh, do something a little bit different to what I would usually do. Uh, I actually had this idea uh, fairly while back. Uh, I just haven't really had the opportunity to do it and or I wanted to do it when it was a little bit more warm outside, you know, because right now it's just too cold, I feel like. Um, but uh, I guess I'm doing it now anyway. And uh, that is... Giving these right here a makeover, you know, the classic silhouette. Uh, do something a little bit different. These I've actually done a customization on before. Uh, and to be honest, pretty much right after I did this customization on them, I just kind of haven't worn them at all. So I uh, want to customize them a little bit differently and give them a little bit more of a uh, avant-garde vibe instead you know I've seen uh, Sanjeev in his geo baskets and all that so uh, I decided to why not give it a try and make these more avant-garde so my plan is uh, I'm going to paint them not everybody probably will be into it and it's very very I don't know how to say it but uh, it's very avant-garde and you know not everybody is into that or whatever and I don't know if it'll actually turn out any good at all but the only way to see if it'll actually look good or not is by doing it so that's what I'm going to do but um, yeah I will be going outside to get some paint and uh, I'll film that process and we'll see uh, sort of what it turns out. So I'll roll it, I guess. Or we'll be back here later on or whatever. I don't really know how to structure this video, but here we go. I'm pretty sure I don't need to buy any uh, actual paint because I'm pretty sure I still, I actually do have that. I don't know how well the certain type of paint I have will work with the shoes, but you know, I guess we'll see, right? But I still have to go get the spray paint. So that's uh, what I'm gonna do right now. Hopefully they do have any spray paint there, but uh, I guess we'll have to go and see. Let's go. Gotta admit, it feels really weird walking around uh, with this rig. I feel like uh, Logan Paul or something, you know? Got this big boom on top of uh, my camera and the selfie stick that I'm holding onto. Or, I mean, it's a tripod. But anyway, I got the stuff and uh, I was just to get back and start doing the customization. Painter jeans, some duct tape right here. Painter shirt, as jumper, I guess. And then the vans. Skater or painter. Hmm. So first coat is uh, done. As you can see, it's uh, pretty shiny and I'm pretty sure I used way more than I actually needed on them now I just gotta wait till uh, 
that stuff dries and then I'll coat it again and then eventually start painting it. Oh. So, I've just found out that the paint that I have is actually um, house paint and not, uh, you know, typical shoe paint, so I don't know how well that will work with uh, the shoes, but they're done now, spray painted, finished. There's some places where, you know, I could have sprayed a little better, I don't know. If you can really tell, right here is a little bit of a unsprayed part, or like, that needs a little more coating, but I'm just gonna skip that. Also, managed to uh, accidentally spray a little bit inside, inside the shoe, so uh, yeah. What? Now use some titanium white, pull it out very flat, cut off that little roll of paint again. Now we don't care if a little bit of this mixes with the dark color that's underneath. We don't want to mix a whole bunch, but a little bit is all right. So then, back here again. Who would have thought that would ever happen? So, now, painting these took a little longer than I thought it would. It actually took like two weeks. Uh, just getting it spray painted first and then painting over them again. I'm gonna show you what they look like before I start talking about them, to be honest. They look like this right now and I think they turned out pretty well honestly my plan was to make them completely white but I thought it was kind of cool with having the uh, black spray painted like tag I guess and um, you know the it has like a couple of stars on the heel and on the front toe so I decided to like sort of add a little bit of a dimension there and not completely paint over that either uh, and what I think is gonna happen or like my plan of what is going to happen with these these shoes is that when I wear them I don't know if it'll actually work but since it's house paint I think that when I wear them and they start to crease the uh, like underlying layer will come through with the hence why I spray painted them black first also I sort of missed a little bit when I was spray painting them so you can sort of tell right here that you know whoopsie 
there's some paint on the actual size tag. I'm sure, sure that will wear away after a while. I guess just plan is to not wear white socks with them in the beginning. But I feel like this is more of a, I don't know, avant-garde take on them. Uh, they completely blow out the because of the light. Uh, since they are completely white. And one thing that I find to be like kind of cool with them, I don't know if it comes off in camera, but they have like this stripey kind of paint look. Because you can see a little bit of the black that's underneath, even though I have three layers of paint on it. You can still sort of see that a little bit, which I find to be kind of cool. But yeah, what sort of inspired me to do this to the Air Force Ones was, I'll show you like a picture right there. These Margella, Margella boots. But yeah. I'm gonna style them a little bit and see what I would probably wear them with. I'll be back here after that. Roll it! Roll it!
So, I realized I've made a slight little mistake here. Originally, I wanted to I wanted this paint, right? To flake uh, on the shoe to create like sort of a, this avant guard like character to it uh, like this but a slight problem has happened uh, which I didn't take into account is that the acrylic spray paint that I sprayed as a base layer on the shoe uh, is also flaking with the uh, house paint so like you can tell right there you can tell it's like sort of flaking back to uh, the original color of the actual shoe which is not really what I wanted to so technically it was a success but with some uh, downsides that I didn't take into account so if you're to do it yourself then uh, I guess and you want to do the white paint over then buy a black pair of Air Force ones instead of uh, the white ones but uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the video uh, ladies and gentlemen another be safe out there stay home if you can I guess and I hope you have uh, a pleasant rest of your day leave a like down below comment what you thought of the transformation if you liked it if you didn't let me know in the comments down below and let me know if you want to see like an update video after I warn them for a little bit how they look like or whatever and uh, I might do a video on, video on that see you uh, next time and have a beautiful rest of your day bye